Hello, assalamu alaikum people. How have you been? I hope uh, you are taking utmost care of yourself and the people around you. Uh, thank you for joining in our show, Learn and Grow. And today's topic is all about anchoring your resourceful state. So how to get yourself into the feeling good and high performance state um, anywhere, anytime you want. So in the light of NLP, um, a resourceful state, what is it? So it refers to a state uh, where a person feels uh, positive and have helpful emotions and strategies all available uh, with, within himself or herself. And they are able to manage their behavior in any kind of situation. So uh, when you are into a resourceful state, um, you know, you kind of feel calm, you are focused, you are clear about it um, and very comfortable the way you are, like you are comfortable the way you are, you know? So you feel you are capable of doing so many things. You feel more confident, your body is relaxed, uh, yet you have that energy, you know, the, uh, you want to perform well, you are, uh, you feel powerful. Yeah. So these kind of feelings is what you will have when you have a resourceful state. And your mind is able to understand any situations that you are into and it will help you take the best and right decisions for you. So uh, what, what happens is you become aware of the environment and the people around you. And when you are aware of all these things, you can easily respond to them, right? So it sounds pretty amazing, right? Uh, it could have been a wild kind of thing for you when you hear about it. <laughs> so who would not want to be in such resourceful uh, state anytime, whenever uh, you feel like it? So with in contrast to this, we need to be also um, thinking about the non-resourceful state, uh, you know, and we might kind of avoid them. So which could be like um, you might be feeling worrying about something or you're self-doubting, blaming, you have some kind of tension and fear. Um, you know, uh, you know this, these days you have this uh, panic, anxiety attack and all. The most common one is anger that comes to a person's uh, behavior and distress, sadness. So uh, we would wonder, we would have a, ma a magic wand, you know, which is just flip it around and you just change our state of mind. So we all can do this because being a um, certified NLP coach, um, I have like, uh, I have to mention this. One of the uh, presupposition of NLP is that uh, we have within us uh, all the resources we ever need. So. This is a very uh, strong belief and NLP gives us some more beliefs, which is also called as belief of excellences. And in our sessions, we have been using these presuppositions to help you understand uh, and bring clarity on those uh, presuppositions. And today I'm going to use this one because we all have the resources we ever need. So keeping this in mind, uh, we can like consciously and easily, effortlessly put ourselves into a resourceful state anytime we choose. We literally can switch from one um, you know, uh, state of mind to another where we can uh, think clearly, be creative, express ourselves. And what we need to feel is energetic. You need, you need to feel that power and then you feel happy. Now, how to master this amazing technique of switching states? Today we'll be talking about it and uh, Managing states is one of the most fundamental skills in NLP. So before I give you this amazing tool, let me ask you something first. Have you seen a crying baby? Like who immediately starts to laugh or stops crying when we offer um, them with a treat or distract them somehow? Have you even thought how is that possible? So this is an example for a baby, about a baby. Now let's talk about adults. Now. Um, have you ever uh, been in a bad incident where you feel low, you feel ho hopeless and like, you know, you meet a person you love the most, uh, be it your lover or your mother, one single hug and you feel different, all energized, ready to make new changes and you know, you step forward. Now that shift of um, state happened, right? Because you have anchored the person you love or in the child's case, the sweet or the candy. Now you see how we, uh, we have unconsciously created such anchors. So to, uh, now let's uh, step ahead and um, let's talk more about anchors. And in this, let me tell you, uh, we have like anchors which can be visual, 
which can be which are related to our senses so it could be visual anchor it could be auditory anchor or it could be kinesthetic anchor so uh, these three main anchors are uh, you need to understand uh, when you uh, like when you can when you visual some anchor like um, person is an, an anchor to you like when this visual anchors appears in front of you you feel resourceful you are you have different state of mind so like the example i gave you earlier about uh, seeing a mother or a candy uh, when you see someone you love or something you love um, they are your anchors right the visual anchor so um, you might find it very um, relaxing calming when you see them or uh, so uh, in this visual anchors you can also have an internal uh, uh, visual anchors so external is seeing them right in front of your eyes and what is internal uh, internal anchor could be like you know this feeling uh, this th uh, this thought gives me a good feeling so you close your eyes you go to that place and think of it so uh, so you see your mother's face and it brings a smile on your face so you see how it relates so most of the time uh, these visual anchors could be symbols like um, anything that you have marked yourself you know um, a tattoo it could be or people like the example i gave earlier or various objects or a uh, place you have been to so all these kind of anchors uh, will uh, give you a kind of a relaxed feeling a calm feeling you know so these are the um this these are all that i want to talk about the visual anchors now about auditory ankles uh, an anchors sorry <laughs> so you can use sound also as an anchor so uh, like visual anchors they could be an uh, an external or an internal anchor for uh, auditory so uh, have, uh, if you have pets uh, you must have trained your dogs with a whistle Oh, the bike just passed with a horn you know so you know this kind of um sound that could uh, trigger you and uh, bring you take you to a different state so when a dog is trained it is um it's whistled and trained to do something or strained to stop doing something and then given a, a sweet as well so a sweet could be a visual anchor a taste um an olfactory anchor so you know a visual can work in a various form so similarly for a human also some sounds a music a song that you can relate to you know um that could bring you back to that state where you felt really good really calm and um, you know very soothing experience so it could be those sounds that could um that that represents your anchors now as an internal um anchor it could be the voice we all do that uh, inside talk right we talk to ourselves okay i will do this something like talking to yourself um so talking to yourself and telling yourself uh, things you could say like um yes you can do it or be calm calm down so you tell yourself all those um words right so those could be your internal anchor when you say that you immediately become calm you know so those are auditory anchors now kinesthetic anchors now when i gave you an example of a mother or a lover hugging someone so when you are hugged you are touched once uh, and a, when a mother hugs and tells you maybe you know uh, you are doing great my son something like that you know that becomes auditory anchor as well so these are unconscious anchor that are set so um someone pats you on your shoulder saying good job so every time someone pats you on your shoulder saying not even saying anything you might feel you know uh, nice and you feel i have done something good you know so those kind of things so um, and uh, now today what we are going to do is these are all the stuff that i have talked is about unconsciously um setting up an anchors today we are going to talk about how you can plan an anchor uh, a resourceful um to bring yourself into a resourceful state right so you can think of um any part of your body or fingers where you can um you know uh, maybe like a acu pressure points you can uh, hold them or touch them or press it so that it fires that state now, how do we do that so we will talk now about how you can create and use these anchors for yourself so 
It sounds good, right? Wouldn't it be good to create your own powerful anchors and then access all this good resourceful state whenever, wherever you want? And it will become very handy because uh, if you are taking a major decision of your life and um, at that point of time you want to be relaxed and don't want to show uh, that you are panicking or not you're anxious about it you just trigger your anchor and you become relaxed and calm or you are giving a presentation of, among like 100 and 200 people and you want to feel confident and you trigger your anchor and you feel confident so any issues in your office like uh, sometimes it happens like discussion between people and you just want to stand and leave but you can't leave at that time you could access a calm state of mind uh, and in order to manage that situation and not react so all of these states uh, you can um, have an anchor to all, any kind of situation uh, any kind of challenging situations or um, you know uh, and, and come into a point where you are like the way you want to be now how do you create an anchor so uh, when you create an anchor um, anchor needs to be uh, practiced you need to practice a lot and you need to process this um, steps that i will be telling you now um, because in nlp this anchoring, te anchoring technique is the most powerful tool uh, in coaching as well and it will benefit you so get ready to get benefited by it so there are the steps that you need to follow so let me share uh, the screen with you so that you can just look at the steps that we have okay so yeah you are so first is you pre-frame you know so you need to think about which state you'd like to experience like in a specific uh, context like i said before earlier uh, if you want to give a presentation you want to feel confident right so you want to experience the state of confidence now sometimes you want to feel brave so you could you could think of state what kind of state you want to um, experience and then you have to uh, in this pre-frame you need to decide of a location where you can anchor yourself so uh, if if could it could be like touching your right ear, pulling it down, maybe like this, or uh, you could, it could be a click, or, or you could just um, use your fingers like this, or you could uh, pressure on the middle of your palm. You know, I talked, I told about Oku pressure points, so you could uh, use any one, and um, I'll tell you later, it, uh, if it's unique, it's better. You know, it will be a specific one. So second point is recalling. So what you need to do is you need you need to remember a time uh, when you felt that when you suppose uh, let's take the example of confident which is very general and uh, most of the time people uh, want to be confident yes so uh, so you need to remember the time uh, when you fe felt very confident right so um, once you recall it. Uh, make sure that you do not, uh, you know, it is pure, like one single memory. If you, you know, um, have a lot of memories, you need to select from those so that you are concentrating on one single memory. Okay. So remember that time, okay, you visualize it. So uh, third point is you need to associate uh, with that um, memory. So you know, when you are looking, you, when you're thinking of that memory, now you feel that you are there and there right you start hearing you start seeing all those things that is around you in that specific memory and even you know feel uh, if you are outdoors you feel the air and everything so you're um, you're seeing you're hearing your smell your taste everything what was there back in your memory you feel the same thing right now here as if you are there you are in your past okay you have entered inside your memory so something like that you need to associate yourself with that memory closely now the fourth point is anchor now now this is the time when you uh, place an anchor to yourself now let me take you to the next slide so that i can tell you how this works all right so uh, you see the graph right so there is a peak that goes at the top and there's drop so when you see the peak that is the state when you are experiencing that memory like fully you are emerging yourself into it and you are at the highest point of that emotion of that feeling 
and that is the point when you, you need to uh, fire your anchor. Uh, if, if if it is like like this, you need to do it at that peak moment. So it could be uh, I have done the stars there. It could be at any point then and there. So once you anchor, that becomes uh, uh, that becomes the highest point. That is a peak state when you have experienced uh, that specific feeling of confidence. Okay, so um, so that is that is when you experience it. Now coming back to this slide. So with anchor, when you have triggered your anchor, you have set an anchor for your state. Now you need to uh, change your state. Like uh, what you need to do is you just break state. Uh, you just loosen up your body, shake a little bit, or you uh, say numbers 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, like that. Or you tell your phone number, uh, you tell your phone number backwards. So that is how you break state. You are completely coming out of that state into another state now with that point number five uh, you need to enter to point number six which is repeating now you can either use the same same memory and go to its highest peak state and anchor or you can think of a different memory with the same um, uh, desired state of feeling confident right so you need to anchor there find out the peak point okay so that is very important and uh, that is a very crucial point to, you need to because uh, if it fades away and you click the timing is also important so i'll tell you what other things are important that timing is important the uniqueness of your memory is important right so you just need to be bang on time right so what you can do is number six point is repeating so you can repeat it two times three four five times and you can see how it goes Okay, whenever you repeat, you need to go back to point number five and break state. And then again, start a new one. Okay, so point number seven is testing. So now you need to test it, right? So you think of uh, any other situation and you fire up your anchor and you need to find out if it works or not. So in any uh, real time situation, you can try and test it. So, uh, these are the points that is important. Uh, this is the process actually. And you need to make sure that you uh, keep on trying this because uh, now whenever you want to feel um, confident or any disaster you feel like, so you just fire your anchor, right? So through these above seven steps, um, uh, you can have the state you want to be in, uh, be it uh, like if you're feeling down, you're feeling low and you want to energize yourself, you can anchor, um, uh, to your energetic self, you know, so it is important that you keep on practicing and you keep on um, because if with practice it will come uh, It will become more easy to come uh, to use this triggers uh, this anchors uh, Anytime whenever you feel like like you are in um, you, you know in a situation where you want to use it and then if you have not practiced it much uh, it may not work, but if you want to make it happen you have to just like how you charge your phones you have to uh, charge uh, this practice as well so anchor will work um, spontaneously and you will find it because um because the you know the practice we have done it and in nlp this has been a very wonderful tool uh, and personally uh, i like it so so you will get the state, the state you want to be in. Uh, and you have to make sure that, you know, the, you saw the graph, right? So the timing is important and the intensity with uh, which you feel. So I request you to have that unique experience, unique memory that you want to use to feel any desired state. It has to be unique. Make sure that um, you, you're just concentrating and focusing on that one single one. Okay, so and practice is more uh, important. So please try it more number of times and then I hope that it will work for you all. So, uh, well, well, that's it for today. So today we learned uh, how we can use anchors um, for our resourceful state and we can bring them forward anytime you want. So do try it and you can let me know. Uh, how well it worked and if there is any confusion or um, if you need more clarity you can write to us at coachmenepal at gmail.com 
So uh, that's it for today for our session. And I hope our sessions are helping you. So Thursdays and Fridays, we are providing you with sessions uh, which are uh, from the core, from, core heart of NLT. So I hope it's working. And other than that, oh, we have a super reading session that is going to be uh, that is going to start from first of November. So if you are interested to read more, learn more, and you know be a speedy reader, so do join our sessions. You can email us to have more information about it. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye. Assalamualaikum.